All right, here's my round two of trying to do this video. Sorry guys, I started it and then someone came in the shop and spoke to me about some stuff. So um, I wanna talk about the perfect diet because everyone is trying to, for, for decades people have tried to answer this question. Like what is the diet? Is it veganism? Is it paleo? Is it ketogenic? Um, what is it? And here's the answer. It's there isn't a perfect diet, but there are some fundamentals everyone should understand so that when you are playing around with what to do, especially in this program, um, what I what I design is a backbone. And if you need to modify according to your personal health issues and your own digestive constituents, then you need to do so. Um, but here's the thing, there is a Netflix uh, documentary called The Game Changers, which talks about uh, a bunch of athletes changing their nutrition to a vegan diet or vegetarianism and how their health improves drastically. And then there is the, um, the Magic Pill, which is also on Netflix, which talks about more of a paleolithic diet, which is vegetables, fats, and animal proteins, as well as nuts and beans and stuff. And so which one is the ultimate? So um, there is no ultimate, like I said before. I have had people who went, who turned vegan and feel amazing. And then I have had people who went vegan and ended up in the hospital. What was the difference? Um, the difference are these things. Your gut biome, your hormones, your stress levels. And, um, and that's really it. So let's talk about the gut biome because I talk about hormones a lot. And so um, we'll, br we'll brush up on hormones in a little bit, but you guys, there are about one, so we are barely scratching the surface of understanding what the gut biome is doing for us. We know a lot and the research is increasing in this field because we are recognizing that it's pretty significant. When we understand more about the gut biome, we understand more about our health and our bodies and disease but there are over a thousand different species of gut biome in our stomachs and we all have different ratios. So there will never be two bodies that have the exact same gut biome. Our biome is like a thumbprint and all of our thumbprints and all of our fingerprints are completely different. Now within families, our thumbprints are similar, but they are never identical. So what works for me might not work for my son or my daughter. However, um, what works for me will be similar to what works for them. Now let's look at your family. Um, what works for me might not work for you entirely. So my family can eat a lot, a, a lot, a lot, a lot of fat. And we are fine, we never put on weight, nothing. Another family can eat a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of fat. And maybe they put on weight, you know? And why is that? Is it because of their gut biome? Is it because of how much lipase they are, um, their bodies are producing? Is it because of the HSL that they're producing? Um, it, there's, there's a lot of things that go into play. Um, it also comes down to combinations, right? When I eat high fat foods with a little bit of carbs, I won't put on weight. If you eat high fat foods with a little bit of carbs, maybe you do put on weight. Um, again, does it come down to your gut biome? Is, it, is that a gut biome issue or is that a hormone issue? So let's go back to gut biome. Uh, when, they take, um, when they take the gut bacteria and they do a fecal matter transplant from a thin mouse to an obese mouse, that mouse that they transfer to will start to lose weight. Now, when they take the feces and of the obese mouse and they put it into the thin mouse, that thin mouse puts on weight. Um, so we know that we can, according to our gut biome, just easily add, put on weight or lose weight. How's it going? <laughs> I'm with you in just a sec. Um, so, so is it all gut biome? No. Is gut biome a big part of it? Absolutely. Um, so the more diverse your gut biome, the better your health. What changes our gut biome? What nurtures that gut biome diversity? Well, there's a lot of factors. Um, and some of the factors we can't change because were you vaginally birthed or were you a C-section baby? Were you breastfed or did, were you bottle fed? 
uh, did you grow up in a city or did you grow up um, in the suburbs or did you grow up in nature? Did you play a lot outside? Did you play in front of uh, an Xbox? Um, all of these things change our microbiota, change our gut biome diversity. And so, um, so those are a few factors that need to uh, be thought of when looking at the big picture. But again, no two people live the exact same life. So, um, so be gentle with yourselves when you are considering these factors and then be proactive. So we know certain things that do change our gut biota is what we feed breeds, okay? So feed the good bacteria. And what does the good bacteria eat? They eat a lot of veggies. They eat a lot of fiber. They eat a lot of cellulose. And so why does my nutrition plan have those foods? Because that feeds the good bacteria. What feeds the bad bacteria? Sugars, um, processed foods, chemicals. Uh, we also know that that also feeds parasites as well as yeast and candida. Um, and like I said, candida, which is bad fungus. So food is what, what we feed breeds, okay? Um, now let's look at hormones. Have you had stress hormones? Uh, do, you, do you have insulin resistance? Do you have a lot of cortisol production? Do you have decreased sex home production? All of these things are going to change the way your body interacts with your food um, and interacts with how you process food or how you react to food. So, so is it really as simple as finding the perfect diet for you? No, because we have to take in all of these factors. We have to take in your gut biota, what it is used to eating, and we have to take in your hormones and what triggers them or overstimulates them or stresses them out completely. So let's talk about that for a second. Um, we know sugar, increased sugar intake stresses out your hormones and creates this cascading event of, um, it's like a, do a domino effect, right? One falls down and the rest fall down. So decreasing sugar is going to be a really important fundamental thing that people need to do. So increase veggies, decrease sugar, increase your fat intake, and eat clean sourced proteins is going to be very, very, very important. Um, so I hope that was a good crash course on, hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Um, I hope that was a really good crash course on um, understanding that it's not just about the perfect diet, it's about what your body and your health can handle and how you are retraining your gut biota because um, Retraining that gut biota is everything. And we do that through the food that we eat. So hopefully that gives you a rundown of everything you need to know about, or just the basics about um, there is no perfect diet. It's what your body can handle or what you train your body to handle.